大家好啊，我是蔡律师，我们在新卫明律师事务所。我们这个视频呢，讲的是留学美国的一些重要事项和文件啊。那么最近呢，大家可能听说过，就是讲到呢，冯小刚说移民美国了，然后呢，也有的说张艺谋移民美国了。后来呢，至少我看到说冯小刚呢又出来回应说啊，他自己还没有移民，只是送孩子到美国上学啊。那不管个人是否移民了呢，从这方面我们可以看到，哎、呃，不管你是否办美国绿卡，也可以送孩子留学美国。这个呢，我们大家看到，呃，目前为止呢，中国仍然是留学美国的最大的生源国，有三十多万留学生在美国。今天呢，我们和我的女儿 Sabrina 也在我们律所工作，同时在 MIT 上学啊。我们一块讲一下呢，关于留学美国的一些重要的材料啊，准备工作等等。那么我们大家知道呢，一般来说，那你申请留学，比如说不管是读本科还是读研究生，需要有成绩单啊，那 GPA， 然后呢需要有来自老师和有的时候呢学校的 counselor 的推荐信。一般呢，很多学生还有这个标准化考试的成绩，比如说 SAT、ACT 啊。对于研究生呢，可以考呃 GRE、GMAT 等等。那么除了这些以外呢，一般来说还需要有一个 college essay 或者 personal statement 啊，以及其他的 writing sample 啊这些个人的文件。除此以外呢，还有比如说个人参加课外活动。Extracurricular activity 啊，这些方面，比如说不管是科研、体育、艺术，还有志愿者活动等等。那一会儿呢，呃，我们会更多的讨论这方面的问题。那像前面提到的呢，很多人嘛，那你不管呃是否个人办移民美国，不管是现在自己是否已经情况 ready 或者符合条件，也都可以考虑呢送孩子啊、呃、留学美国。我们律所的微信公众号就叫做“美本美高留学指南”。这个呢，一方面也是为了方便想要送孩子留学的人啊，从这方面来阅读了解信息。那我们知道，很多人办美国移民也都是为了孩子将来的发展。此前我们也讲到过，比如说，呃，我们律所的客户有一些人已经有加拿大的枫叶卡。或者说已经有加拿大国籍，但是考虑呢还是要到美国来继续发展，因为总体来说呢，呃，美国经济更发达，平均收入更高啊、呃，人均的 GDP 数字更高，那有更多的事业发展的空间。此后呢，我们也会有更多的关于留学美国的一些。文章和视频，大家可以参考我们的微信公众号、我们律所的网站、我们的电子书、我们在美国攻略网站的专栏文章，还有呢我们的 YouTube 视频。好，那么下面呢，我的女儿 Sabrina 呢，可以从她的角度更多的来解释一下，来呃交流一下她的经验。谢谢。Hello everyone, my name is Sabrina. I work for New Aiming Law Group, and I am an undergraduate student at MIT. Today, I want to share some important features for college admission, whether you are applying from China or from the United States. At MIT, there are more than 11,000 students, including both undergraduate and graduate students. Among them, around 20% of students are Asian. In Boston and the surrounding areas, there are more than 70,000 international students coming from more than 150 countries all around the world. Obviously, the United States, including areas like New England, the New York City metro area, and California, are still top destinations for students who often compete for the top-ranked universities. So, how can you get into your dream school? I would like to share some of my own experiences and observations. First, your high school GPA is very important. Besides the grades you receive, the courses that you take are also highly relevant. If a student takes a good number of AP, IB, or honors courses and receives good grades, she not only boosts her GPA, but also demonstrates her strong ability in studying and facing challenges, as well as her perseverance. The AP and IB courses are even more important nowadays than before because, first, many high schools no longer report the place you rank among other students, and second, there are no longer SAT subject tests, so the SAT and the SAT general test itself has become optional for many universities. Now, speaking of the SAT and the ACT, as you know, these days many American universities no longer retire such standardized test scores. However, if you believe you can receive high scores on these tests, it is still a good idea to take them as an indicator of your academic success to add credentials to your profile. 
By the way, if needed, you can take the SAT multiple times and universities will take the best score you achieve. In addition, some American universities, including MIT, still require standardized test scores. Next, letters of recommendation from your high school teachers and counselor. These are subjective instead of objective evidence, but they reflect how experienced educators evaluate your performance, capability, potential, and interests, and how they recognize your strengths and weaknesses. These letters need to come from teachers who have sufficient experience and knowledge of you, who can explain how they interacted with you and drew their conclusions with specific descriptions and sometimes examples to show your academic performance, personality, and character, instead of using hollow words and general expressions. Then, there are college application essays or personal statements, which present who you are, demonstrate your point of view towards various issues, and express your strengths. Remember, the universities are not looking for students who are perfect or for someone who is shaped under a standard model. Instead, the schools want to see the real you and see what you can add to their student body. Therefore, focusing on who you are, your interests, why you chose this school and sometimes this particular major, what you have learned in the past, and how well prepared you are for college, how you can overcome challenges and obstacles, and where your unique list lies is very important. Next, the extracurricular activities. Colleges and universities value your participation in these activities, not just to see what you did besides studying or whether you won something during high school years. Instead, colleges look at how long you have been involved in these activities and to what extent you have attended and committed to the works out of your interests. These activities can include volunteering works, artistic activities, sport activities, scientific research, or subject competitions in mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, and more. Of course, there are other subtle and detailed factors that matter. Overall, large public universities may focus more on GPA and other tests that are easier to quantify because they simply receive a larger number of applications. On the other hand, private colleges and selective schools often look more towards the broad picture, especially the essays and recommendation letters. One last thing, if you have US citizenship or permanent residency, green card, that can help your college application. After all, the majority of students admitted by American universities are, well, residents in America. If you have more questions regarding U.S. green card application, please check out New Women Law Group's YouTube channel and email to info at nwmlaw.com for additional information.